Simplicity is the most difficult thing to secure in this world. It is the last limit of experience and the last effort of genius, said by George San. The Vietnamese people in the recent decades have truly had a genius, a great leader. He is General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong. Look at the powerful figures of the great powers who welcomed him. A small man who made the heads of the great powers respect him when he was alive and when he passed away a few weeks ago. In 2015, President Obama of the United States, a country that was once an enemy of Vietnam, changed their mind when he welcomed him to the Oval Office, even though he was only the head of the Communist Party of Vietnam. Something unprecedented for the United States. Thì không ai có thể hình dung được rằng hôm nay tại phòng bầu dục và nhà trắng của Hoa Kỳ lại có một cái cuộc gặp rất là thú vị giữa Tổng Bí thư Đảng Cộng sản Việt Nam với Tổng thống Hợp Trung Quốc Hoa Kỳ. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, and uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I think that uh, 20 years ago, uh, not too many people would imagine uh, a meeting uh, interesting meeting and substantive meeting uh, between the General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam and the President of the United States. In 2022, when he was old and his health was not really good, he visited China and was warmly welcomed by President Xi Jinping. And this is how President Xi welcomed leaders from Europe. In less than a year before his death, he tried to cultivate good relations with the three great powers in the world. In September 2023, welcomed the U.S. president in Vietnam. In December 2023, welcomed President Xi from China. Once again, let's look at his respectful attitude towards General Secretary Trong. It is important to remember that he is the head of the world's second most powerful country, after the U.S., but he has never had such an attitude towards the U.S. In June 2024, General Secretary Trong welcomed Russian President Putin in Hanoi, his health was also much weaker at this time. And let's look at President Putin's attitude, it is also very rare for Mr. Putin to have such a close and respectful attitude towards General Secretary Trong. When he passed away in late July 2024, President Xi Jinping and a delegation of senior leaders came to pay their respects at the Vietnam Embassy in China. The Chinese people also rarely saw him behave like that towards international leaders. For the people in the Vietnam country, Perhaps just looking at the scene of people standing on both sides of the road to see him off from the funeral home in the east to the cemetery in the west of the capital Hanoi is enough to understand how much the people respect and mourn him. In a society where Vietnam's economy has gone from a poor country with a GDP per capita of 225 United States dollars in 1994 to being considered a middle-class power in 2024 with a GDP per capita of 4,324 United States dollars in 2023. According to the World Bank, he also joined the ranks of Vietnam's senior leaders, the Politburo Standing Committee since 1999 and held the highest position as General Secretary from 2011 to July 2024. In addition to his profound wisdom and skillful handling of domestic and foreign affairs, he lived a very simple and integrity life.
After his death, news about him was shared by the people widely. Notably the jacket he wore for more than 10 years, in 2016 there was a photo of the jacket with a torn sleeve. And then it was cut short to hide the tear. So some photos online showed that one side was short and the other was high. The car, Toyota Crown 1998 that he had been using with since the 2006. Until the last days of his life when he was both leading the country and receiving treatment at the hospital. In a life where everyone is chasing after material enjoyment and current conveniences. He is the embodiment of a lifestyle of wise people, living simply but dedicating and serving wholeheartedly to the country and the people. His legacy. An excellent student of President Ho Chi Minh in the new modern era, will be recognized by history and many future generations of Vietnam. Lễ an táng sẽ được tổ chức trọng thể vào lúc 15 giờ ngày hôm nay.